Pablo Gunner back in the nerd cave with the Joel Daddy shirt to talk nerdy to you about The Last of Us Episode 7, which I haven't played that DLC of the game, so for me, I didn't know what was going to happen. I knew it was going to be like a little flashback episode. I thought it was further back in her past. I thought she was younger, but of course, with the actor and everything, I think, as, as far as I know, like, it makes sense, you know, to not doing too far back. The only thing I was disappointed about it was that we didn't actually see her friend turn and how she dealt with that, because that would have been a moment where, like, you see her break and you see her change, like, completely, and I would have loved to see that. Instead, they went the other direction where they're like, no, it's the moment of, that's where then she decides to go back to Joel and go, I'm going to stay with him. Despite what he said, despite everything, I'm going to be with him. I liked it a lot. I, I loved it. It was fantastic. I knew something bad was going to happen. Once again, with these kinds of zombie type things, apocalypse stuff, you go, I'm just waiting for the bad thing to happen. When is it going to happen? It, of course, it's going to happen towards the end, but yet we're like, is it going to happen yet? Is it going to happen yet? Is it going to happen yet? And you're just waiting for that moment for it to go bad. Like, it's awesome. It's it's an abandoned mall. Who doesn't love the mall? Especially abandoned mall. No people there. And then, of course, Mortal Kombat 2. What's, what's not to love? Everything was great about it. It, it was kind of depressing. What did you think? Talk nerdy to me.